You are to see. I speak for his grace. Pray, make your... You've a stake in this, and a right to hear, sir. You know of Forneville, aye? He is among the wealthiest of Grand Soren's merchants, though now he stands to lose all. He is accused of a litany of crimes. I would beg a favor, if you've the time. It seems Forneval was as busy in his underground dealings as in his honest work. His bill of crimes includes bribery, fraud, abduction, the selling of secrets, even collusion with salvation. The inquest continues as we speak. Should the present tide prevail, he will like be found guilty and put to death. Opinions are split, however, on the credibility of the present proofs and testimonies. A few days yet remain before the matter is decided. I ask that you go and gather what facts you can. Any proof is welcome, be it evidence or testimony. Aught that clearly shows his guilt or innocence. Justice must be done. And for that, we've need of the truth. I hear old Forneval is the subject of an inquest. His conviction would bring me no joy, not least for the loss of revenue I would suffer. Arisen, I have a proposition, sir. I've long had dealings with Forneval and want to believe in his innocence. Pray, take a petition for his acquittal from me, that it may help sway his arbiters. Forneval's inquest will not wait for the hearing of well met, at the Windbluff Tower and in Cassidus. Someone must know something about this matter. Let's ask around. The blustering fools just barged in, eh? Hey? Hold me prisoner like some common criminal. It is madness and base insult. You there, you're an able sort. There's time yet before my trial is decided. Pray, arrange for my acquittal however you may. If you see me through this storm, I'll sell to you at cost for the rest of my days. Tis a generous offer, eh? Now go, and pray put an end to this farce. I am eager to be quit of this confinement. Please, sir. of my father. You're the Arisen, are you not? Can you not do what to help him? I could not bear to lose him. Even if the things they say were true, I still... He was ever a kind father to me. A petition? Of course, I would gladly draft one. I would draft a hundred if it be a help. Steady on! stands trial? Tis a pity. In truth, the man was profligate. His ostentation earned him envy and enmity in equal parts. But he was not the sort of man to seek profit in the misfortunes of others. I will add my name to the petition. I shall pray that his innocence is proven. and the night's champion. The capital swirls with ill rumors.
Remember to save enough for lodging. Have you equipment to enhance? Now, where shall we head? Grand Soren, the beating heart of all Grandses. Grand Soren guards, so far from the capital. Was the pity. He finished our arms at quite a favorable rate. We'll be as cats without claws, should he be kept from doing business. I do not know the man well, but I cannot stand idly by and see him convicted. Testimony given in person will carry more weight than a missive, yet I cannot leave this place. Pray, take one of my men with you back to the capital. He will speak in my place. You do formidable of service, sir, and us with him. I will send word ahead for a man to await him. Pray, speak to him directly. I'm called Castor. Sir Dario has informed me of my duties. I'm thankful to have you accompanying me to the... Very well, sir. We must see... ...the Whitney safely back to the capital. a port crystal monster. This is a place. It's quite restful to my kind. It is usually more lively. Ahead, lead it off the castle walls. These stairs serve as a useful route to their own. Australia, 
you suggest that you just might be you there, yes, if you suggest. Now go. I've had a talk. You're the Arisen, eh? It's quite an honor to be employed by the Duke himself. You are to see me for your assignments, and no one else. I speak for His Grace on such matters. My word is His. As such, any task deserves your full and immediate attention. Pray, make your choice, sir. Brought a witness, have you? Excellent work. I shall see to the necessary accommodations until the day of the trial. There's time yet, sir. Pray, continue in your efforts. Good. You've brought evidence. Here. I shall see it submitted to the court. There's time yet, sir. Pray, continue in your efforts. You are... To... I speak for his grace. Pray. I would... The inquest has but a few days remaining. I faith you'll find the truth. Good. You here. I shall there's You are to pray. I would the ink. Good. There's You are to pray. But Good. You've brought it here. I shall see there's time yet, sir. You are to pray. Make your I would the ink. At present, it seems like Fornival may be found innocent. Well met, sir. <gasps> Salvation is on the tongues of everyone, from peasant to noble.
things that lizard is poisonous. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. An inquest, eh? I know it is improper to say so, but you'll not deny the thrill of awaiting a judgment. Though it's the rare trial that's not decided before it begins, if truth be told. Proofs are easily falsified. Testimony is still more so. There's always someone with cause to want one outcome or the other, and the means to ensure it. Which brings me to a very special deal for you, friend. Writs of affidavit for sale at bargain rates. I've statements of their guilt or innocence. Quite the clever forgery is these. They always sell well when there's an inquest on And why not? Tis a heady thing to buy a man's guilt for innocence. If you've mistaken the trial's results, you'd be a fool not to. I'll disavow we ever spoke if asked, my man. The choice is yours to make. My prices ebb and flow with the tides of the trial. Still, you'll not regret it, friend. Make good use of it. And remember, I've more where that came from. We are a vagabond people, born in a drifting. Back in need of an affidavit? Far be it for me to stint. You'll pay my price, though. Tis only right. You'll, you'll not regret it. Make good use. Tis a port crystal, Master. Tis a port crystal. One can reach it from anywhere with the use of a magic item. It is usually more lively. You are to see me for your assignments, and no one else. I speak for His Grace on such matters. My word is His. As such, any task deserves your full and immediate attention. Pray, make your choice, sir. I would ask you, Matil, the inquiry. Good, you've brought evidence. Here, there's... You are to pray, the inquiry. Good. You here. There's time. Yeah. At present, seems like Cornwall may be found in well mess. Rumor has it salvation works with a man known as the Knight's Champion. Audience, have your pick. Any you like. What will it be to Understood. Are your travel preparations complete? This inn can serve as the hub of our journey. Just a chain, Just have your pig. Or will it be understood?
just a When do you suppose the We've time yet before the inquest is set. Just a cheap friend. Just a... Have your pick. In here. Or will it be understood? The verdict draws near. We'd best prepare. A fellow... Just a... Have your pick. In your life. Or will it be understood? Carnival's inquest will soon begin. Let's deliver our findings. Order! I will have order! <clears throat> This inquest has its conclusion. Fornival Frescobaldi, in the name of his grace, Duke Edmund Dragonsbane, the court hereby proclaims its verdict. Not guilty. You are cleared of all charges and released from bondage forthwith. The inquest is hereby ended. Our task is done. Let us report our progress. All these workers going about their business. How oh, lively. Word of Fordival's verdict has come. He was judged innocent somehow. It was an acquittal hued in shades of gray, scarce different from black. But an acquittal nonetheless. The trial was fair, and so we must accept its decision. Though the matter ended sourly, it's by no fault of yours. Take your wages with my thanks, Arisen. <laughs>